morning, we're whipping up uh, some Cuban comfort food mm -hmm. with Chef Mika Leone, the owner of Calla Caliente in Coral Gables. Well, Florida. Mika will be teaching a master class on Cuban oh. cooking at the South Beach Wine and Food Festival, which is huge in February. But huge. first, she's giving us a lesson. And if you want to follow along with the recipe, you can just scan the QR code. Making a Cuban. There are so many ways to make it. So many people are intimidated making Cubans, yeah. but I'm going to be making it in a pressure cooker today. Really? Wait, what? Carefree, easy recipe. Okay. And I'm going to be giving you my grandfather's mojo recipe. Okay, uh -huh. we're so ready. So we're going to start with some lime juice. Side. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be my assistant yes, over Yes, I will. Some orange juice. Lime okay. juice, orange juice. And an onion right in the middle. Big onion. Okay. I mean, 30 Wait, cloves of garlic. 30? Yes. Oh, zero? Well, I thought you were going to take a couple Girl. of those out. You never have enough garlic. No. Like, wow. Oh. Okay. How many people is this will to serve? Wait, there's always leftovers. Okay. Okay, what are these Some garlic, salt, and oregano. Okay. Put some pepper. Mm-hmm. And taught you how to cook, by the way. My grandfather and my Aww. mom. These are a lot of the recipes that we have at our restaurant in Miami, and we're going to be sharing at South Beach Food and Wine in Miami. Okay, okay. okay. So you're pulsing this or doing whatever. We're going to pulse that, and then a little bit of TV magic. We have our mojo right here. Okay. That's why it's so good, isn't it? It yeah. starts there. Yeah, okay. this is this is what it's all about. Okay. Then we're going to be adding this, and we're going to be using in there? pork shoulder or pork butt. Depending okay. what cut you like. Okay. I like pork shoulder. That's what I grew oh. up eating at home. And then instead of four hours in the oven or a caja china, like we do the, yes, yes. the roast in the backyard, 40 minutes. Just put it in there. 40, 40 minutes. Zero? 40 minutes. That's it. You okay. And I love making it. this on Monday, and then you have it for the rest of the week. You can okay. make sandwiches, bowls, burritos, a little bit of you everything. You can use it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And it comes out looking beautiful like this. So mm -hmm. you just need two forks to shred it with shred your hands. It's so and two moist. forks. So uh -huh. that's, okay. and then the liquid gold. Wait, is this shredded already? Can I help you? You can help me, sous chef. Okay. Okay. And then this is the liquid gold, which is the mojo from the cooking pot that I love to pour on it. Wait, hold on. So, say it again. Yeah. so you, wait, you got, you got the meat out, then you took that out of the bottom of this pan? Yes. Oh, and you want to reserve this. This is delicious. Save it. Okay. Dip a little bit of bread in here. Okay. It's very good. Okay, okay. so and now then, the layering piece. This is very important. And now you're going to help me layer it. All right. I do mayo and mustard. A lot of people don't like mustard or mayo. Kind Why? of. I don't no, know. I'm no, like, you got mayo to. Mayo all day. Bit of both. Am I doing this the right way? Swiss cheese. We're going to put some sweet deli ham. Do you always there. use Swiss? I always use Swiss. Mm -hmm. I do. Sweet deli ham. So, and then we're going to put some sweet deli ham. Okay. We're going to add some of that lechon right on I top. Is too much or no? Wait, oh, that's perfect. There's never too much in this. Right, <laughs> oh, so this is the meat that we just shredded. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Why am I going to all that trouble? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, going to take stop. her back to my it's restaurant, finished. guys. Okay. So you right. plop that on. Some lechon. And what kind of, are those sweet pickles or dill? Yes. Sweet. We make these in-house at yes. the restaurant. But of course you do. Mm. We're going to teach how to do that okay. at South Beach Food and Wine. Oh, that's fun. My class is sold out, but there's a bunch of tickets for other master classes that, and events. That aren't as good the as yours. The fact that it's sold out, what does that tell you as far as the kind of food that you're creating? The people, it's, I, it's, I think they they're loving it. it. Yeah. They want <laughs> it. That. Now, what happens with this butter situation? Oh, my God. So Where this am I putting is, that? This is the other star of the show. Okay. The more butter, the better this. Where is it on the outside? On the outside. Okay. So that thing. Kind of squeeze it down. Okay. So you paint it with butter. Tons of butter. Tons yeah, extra. Tons. And then, then wait, how do you smash it down? Like like, and then we're going over here. Oh. I like to go old school with a foil covered brick, but we have a little sandwich press here. Press it down. Press it down. You and could also use a heavy pot and bot, uh, pot. Oh, my God. And how delicious is that, guys? And how easy. Mm. So mm. good. Yeah. I think it starts with the beginning, like you said. The with, the, with the little mojo. Mm -hmm. The mojo is the secret. And you because could use that on chicken. You could use mm -hmm. that mojo on a lot of different proteins. Because you bite it and you feel the flavor But it's it. crusty, too. Yeah. Is that just from pushing it down? It's just from pushing it down. Mm -hmm. I also like to make these on Hawaiian rolls, and I do sliders for when you have people coming over. Super Bowl Sunday's mm -hmm. coming. Mm -hmm. It's a very versatile recipe. Delicious. It's amazing. We totally Thank get you, why your class is sold out. Thank you, Thank guys. You. All right. I if love you get being this recipe, mm -hmm. just go to today.com slash food. Okay.